going through uh, the motions, going through the testing of primarily tires, because in Tudor we have to run a Continental uh, tire, and it's specific construction compound, we have to run that. Last year they had the same event, wet cars and, and IMSA cars. The difference for us, however, this year, is that we're going to run one car in the Tudor series, and then the 30 car, which is the one car usually, in the WEX series. Yeah, you know, it's an HPD car and uh, just a fantastic machine. It's, uh, you know, one of the most uh, advanced cars in the world. Tons of traction control, downforce. If, if the track absolutely was, went upside down, this car would stick to it. It takes a long time to get used to it because it can carry such huge speeds in the corner. That's what, that's what this car does versus a lot of race cars. Our car can break really deep and carry monster speed in a corner. It's a full-out cardio workout, trust me. You know, the tighter you get, you can't really feel what the car is doing, so you're trying to relax, but I can tell you, you know, there's just certain corners that you catch your breath, you take a deep breath in, and then you don't breathe again until you're coming out of the corner. So it's, you know, it's exciting. It's a great race weekend, actually, to have the Tudor Series with, you know, 50-some cars racing in that series, and then switching to the WEC that evening with probably arguably the greatest drivers in the world and the greatest machinery on the planet with LMP1 cars from Audi to Porsche to Toyota to the LMP2 cars with the Hondas and, and the Nissans and then all the GT cars. It'll, it'll be a fantastic day for the fans.